Quick Millions is the grittiest of the pre-code gangster movies I've seen. Released in 1931, which was a boom year for gangster pictures with films like Smart Money, Little Caesar, and James Cagney's star-making Public Enemy. Quick Millions is the lesser known of the bunch, and I only just heard of this picture recently through the Criterion channel. In Quick Millions, we follow Daniel Bugs Raymond, played by the legendary Spencer Tracy in an extremely early role. Bugs is a down and out truck driver who starts a protection racket, gaining control of the truck drivers and a good portion of their money. From this, his life devolves into criminal activities and racketeering. At only 72 minutes running time, Quick Millions is brief and focuses on crime and Spencer Tracy's attempts at stealing a woman away from a business associate. In these attempts, he tries to become a law-abiding citizen, which ultimately does not work for him. Director Roland Brown starts his feature debut with a noticeable bang. It's not perfect, as most debuts aren't, but glimmers of genius when it comes to visual storytelling shine through. This is funny, as Roland was mainly known for being a screenwriter, later writing an early manuscript of Michael Curtiz's Angels with Dirty Faces, starring James Cagney. One notable scene in Quick Millions is an early transition through the years. Instead of using the cliché of newspaper dates flooding the screen, it instead opts to use the license plates of vehicles Bugs steals over the years. Another incredible looking scene is a smoke-filled boardroom meeting that is being held up by gang members. The scene is darkly lit, and the guns and faces are barely visible through a screen of smoke. You also must see this dance from George Raft. I'm unsure as to why Quick Millions is unpopular compared to its contemporaries. It feels like it fits perfectly next to the much more popular Public Enemy, especially in its depiction of violence and justice. Justice is dispensed, but only for more crime to persist. Public Enemy's finale ends off feeling abrupt and weak, but in Quick Millions, its final scenes are still abrupt, but feel realistic. The death of one gangster by another gangster continues the cyclical nature of crime. Public Enemy is the better of the two though, with James Cagney being exceedingly charismatic versus Spencer Tracy who is solid but feels somewhat lost in his role. I'd still say that I found Quick Millions to be a movie full of charm. It's short and scrappy, and an important start to many important figures in Hollywood. Quick Millions is worth your time if you're a fan of the genre and you are looking to watch lesser known gangster flicks. It's rude, violent, and has an excellent ending. It's streaming right now on the Criterion channel, but you can also find it various places like here on YouTube. Be sure to like if you enjoyed this video. Also subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you here next time.